Stanford University. The studies that we do here allow geochemists and soil chemists and environmental engineers to provide information on what we call the speciation of the pollutant. After all, all of the pollution problems we have are either typically in the atmosphere or in, in water. And it could be surface waters, ocean, groundwater, etc. And that water comes in contact with solids like minerals which make up the soils. A critical factor then is understanding how these uh, contaminant or pollutant ions are transported in aqueous solutions and how they might be sequestered by binding to mineral surfaces. That process is known as sorption. If it sticks tightly and binds uh, strongly, then you've basically sequestered that uh, contaminant and removed it from the groundwater or the surface waters. Synchrotrons produce an entire spectrum of light, a continuum of energies from infrared all the way up to hard x-rays. And so we can then examine how those x-rays, as we change energy, interact with the atom of interest. We want to hit a, a, a sample with a certain type of atom in it, uranium, lead, whatever it might be, such that we excite the core electrons of the atoms that, that are of interest in the sample. Once we do that, these photoelectron waves emanate out from the central atom here and then are backscattered by the surrounding atoms, producing this pattern of interference that we see here that we can analyze and extract uh, structural information from at the atomic level. So we can use this sort of approach to study things like the interaction of uranium with particles that might be used as a reactive barrier to prevent a groundwater aquifer from transmitting the um, uranium over large distances. We can study how effectively the uranium is adsorbed on the particle surfaces and whether or not that's going to be an effective way to remediate uh, a site that's been polluted. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.